Hello and welcome to a new edition of today's youth. It's a great pleasure to be with you once again in a new edition of the show. Once again, talking about a very important topic of interest to the youth and the community at large. We've already discussed the importance of science in our society and how vital it is for the new generations to have a more simplified understanding of what all science and physics is about, how we can present the complicated ideas into a simple formula, how we can make the regular man in the street and the regular child, the um, average child that is, understand the complicated concepts that are uh, very important for our day-to-day -day life uh, and are definitely in use every moment in our lives. That's all um, uh, the core of a scientific held here in Egypt for the very first time. It is the same lab competition that is organized actually on the international level. Uh, and it was initiated by the uh, Cheltenham Science Festival and the National Endowment for Science, Technology and the Arts at the UK. And uh, we are very pleased today to actually have the winners, the top winners of this competition. We've already had the chance to uh, get an overview of the finalists and their ideas. And today we'll get uh, the chance to learn more about, about it from the winners and also the project manager of uh, this competition here in Egypt. Welcome once again. You're still watching today's youth, and I'm very pleased to um, have my guests in the studio tonight. Allow me first to um, introduce them. Dua Hafiz, the Science Project Manager at the British Council. Thank you very much for being with us. Uh, Hazem Mahmoud Shwaira, a resident of neuropsychiatry at the Abbasiya Hospital for Mental Health, and the winner of the competition. Congratulations. And another winner of the competition, Mohammed Rifat Abdu, a research assistant at AUC. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we were very pleased to actually have you once before in the show, and uh, you were only finalists at the time, right? Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> How does it feel today to be actually the winners of such a competition? Um, I think it feels really nice. Um, it's, it's, it's most important to remember that everybody who uh, contributed to this competition, all the participants have actually won. Um, we feel very much privileged to have known all these people, those mentalities that we believe will help shape the future. Mm -hmm. So it's not just about winning yesterday, it's about winning the whole experience. Mm -hmm. And it's actually worth noting indeed that the uh, final ceremony, the final competition was actually last night and um, it is great to actually have the winners today with us. But let's start off for those who haven't actually seen the first episode of this show that was covering the uh, Fame Lab competition. Uh, let's once again have a quick intro introduction about it from the project manager um, of uh, the um, Fame Lab here in Egypt. Dua, um, you're uh, initially um, an employee at the British Council, and this is the major entity that introduced or brought this competition here in Egypt. How did it uh, all come about? How did you uh, think about bringing in such a competition to Egypt? Uh, actually, the competition started in the UK, as you said, uh, on year 2005. And then it was, it was introduced to nine countries from Southeast Europe uh, by the British Council in partnership between Fame Lab and the British Council. Uh, and then came our turn. We thought that we have really talented people here in Egypt and we, had the, we have a lot of talented youth. And we thought that uh, this competition would really show the talents. Uh, we didn't start alone. We had a very strong partner. We had the program called Research Development and Innovation, which is a program of the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research and funded by the EU. So we started via a big partnership with uh, a ministry, with the ministry, which is the Ministry of Higher Education and Scientific Research. We promoted via sending email blogs, uh, via, uh, via sending through blogs, via sending uh, shots to different people. Our contacts are the eye contacts uh, through different websites. Uh, we had the big posters in universities. 
Uh, and here come the, the people. Yeah, that's the out, uh, uh, outcome of it all. How many people did actually, um, actually signed in for the competition? Uh, it was a big surprise. We had, uh, at the beginning, although we know that we have the talents in Egypt, we thought that people will not really understand the idea of the, of the competition. That they need to introduce uh, a scientific topic or a theory in three minutes. Um, not, their, uh, not their graduation research or something like this, just a theory in three minutes. Um, to engage mainly uh, public audience who, who are usually without any science background. Uh, we thought that people will not understand the idea. However, we received 400 applications um, and, and we ran three, uh, the plan was to, to run three rounds, one in Cairo, one in Alexandria and one in Asyut. Uh, but due to the numbers that we didn't expect, uh, we planned another heat in Cairo um, and we, we had 400 in total. Wow, amazing. Okay, uh, of course, this is a live show and you can contact us on uh, our phone number written on the screen right now, that is 2579-4828. And we have our first caller, Dr. Iman Surur. Hello. Hello. Yes, um, doctor. Hello to you. Good evening. Good evening. Yes, um, I just want to say that I had the pleasure to attend uh, the final uh, competition. It was really great. Uh, all the participants were uh, really very talented. Their presentation were very good. Their performance skills were really great. Um, I especially want to congratulate Hazem. He is one of the, our best uh, uh, residents at uh, the Thea Hostel. I'm one of the consultants teaching him, and I'm very proud of you, Hazen, very, very proud of you. Um, I'm, I'm really well pleased. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you very much. Uh, so um, maybe this would lead up to our next question, Hazen. Uh, we know that at each stage of this competition, you had the chance to make a very short presentation. Tell us first about this criteria for uh, um, the competition, the criteria of the topic and the, the presentation limits and all of, all of it. Well, the criteria of, of the presentation is that the presentation has to be about a scientific topic that could be of interest to the public. Um, it's preferred, to, of course, for this uh, topic or this presentation to be from the person's own scientific background, uh, although this is not mandatory. The challenge is to be able to communicate this idea simply and in an um, uh, attractive way in only three minutes. That was the real challenge, because anybody who has studied science knows that most concepts cannot be summed up in three minutes. But this was a challenge, and I think we have seen marvelous outcomes with that challenge. Mm -hmm. um, so these are the criteria. The judgment happens based on um, three criteria that we have mentioned earlier in the, in the previous show, mainly the clarity, the charisma, and the scientific intent. Uh -huh. And OK, uh, Mohammed, uh, what about the people themselves, the participants? Uh, we know that there were people from all walks of life, all backgrounds, academically speaking, yes. that is. So um, t tell us briefly about that. Uh, side. Actually, uh, I agree with Hazem that we were uh, so privileged to have uh, to be part of this uh, group because the, all of them are actually very talented, uh, and as you mentioned, they came from different backgrounds. So we got to, to learn a lot through the presentations, through listening to uh, the presentation of each one, and uh, also we got to know each other very well uh, through the uh, master class that we had on uh, communication uh, skills. So uh, it was really a very great experience. Mm -hmm. 